Well, good morning. Start of a new week. It's just, uh, I wasn't here Friday, because if you've seen the last episode, or this episode before, it was my birthday. So I had Friday off. So the plan today is then, we've got to put the, uh, we're going to put the door frame and the stud work of plasterboard in the bathroom area, which I'll show you in a minute. We're just uh, going to plan for these steps today. In essence, what we're going to do, we're going to create three steps at the minute, we think. Three, three decking boards wide, so we can't do a traditional, as we would do, um, set out a rise and a and a go on a, on a piece of timber and make a pair of steps. We can't do that because it's too big. Um, you wouldn't get any big, timber big enough to do that. So I'll show you how I'm going to do it anyway. So Mark's just going to get all this cleaned, all this cleared, so all this area is ready to go for us. We're just going to get our, our uh, total rise now so we can work our steps out. Uh, mix up is just found his pencil. Forgot, forgot that he lost his pencil. But he's bought two new ones anyway, you say, Mick? Of course he has. Of course he has. You know I mean? Door frame. <laughs> I do. I'd have probably done the same. So I'm going to put a door frame in there and a little bit of stud work above it. What Mick's marking out there is the post holes. Now I'm going to have to explain to you exactly what we're doing now, somehow. And try and keep it so you can understand. Uh, and I don't mean that to be patronising. I just It's difficult to, for someone like me when you know what you're doing, to explain to someone that potentially doesn't know what they're doing, it's just difficult. So um, I will try my best and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. So first of all, I spoke about it earlier, we can't do a traditional setting out of stairs. For example, what I would do, if this was a normal tread size, nine me two there, I'd just get my height, my rise like that. I'll get a tread, I'll get a rise, I'll get a tread, and I'll cut that, try that out like that. No problem at all, if you're a little set of steps. But because the customer wants three decking board wide treads, we can't do that because we can't get a big enough timber. So what I've done is I've just got myself a piece of plasterboard and I've made myself a rod. Now this is to scale. So the width of the stairs are going to be from front to back. This is the actual decking face there. So the frame we've just looked at that we've already got, that's the decking that sits in there that we've currently got on the, on the legs. And this is where it's going to finish on the ground. So there's a few measurements you need to work out first to, to know exactly what you're doing. These measurements are your total go, which is how far your steps stick out from where you want to start them from. In this instance, our decking. Total rise, which is the height from the start to the top. And then in, in this instance, with decking steps, 180, 180 mil is the total that I've got to have there, the maximum I can have, which is one tread. So this is where we're putting the stairs, all the way across here. Hence the post holes, but we'll have to watch the video later on to explain what this is all about. I'm not going to go into that too much depth. I know from this decking down to that ground level 660 mil, because I want to start my first tread there. And I know that working it out, which I'll show you where I've done it in a minute, from here to there is 11.55. This is how I've worked it out. First of all, you need to know what you're actually going to put on your treads, first of all. And what we're going to do after con uh, talking to the customer, she wants three decking boards wide. So three decking boards wide with a gap, a three mil gap, is a total of 429 millimetres. From the back of your rise, that's one rise there. So total, 429 mil, which is 143 mil. So a gap and a board. 143 mil, 143 mil. That's a total. But the issue you've got then is, or what you've got to work at then is, you've got to have a 20 mil overhang there, like that, on, e on the end of each tread. Then you've got to have a rise, and in, in this instance, we are using another decking board, which we know is 25 mil. So that distance, if you imagine that now, from there to there is 45 millimetres, which is from there to there. So that's something you've got to take off there first, that 429 mil. And then looking at that, as you can see, that gives us this measurement here, 385 mil. Okay, it's 284, but I made it easy for myself. Because this is the measurement that you want. You actually want your, your, your timber or your tread timber you want your structure not your actual finish so 20 mil overhang 
your thickness of whatever you're going to put on your right. If it's an open riser, it's different. You wouldn't take off 45 mil. You just take off your 20 if it's an open riser, okay? But we're having a blanking ass off putting it on, hence 45 mil. We know then 385 mil is what we want. Now, we're really lucky in this instance. I just got 1155. Um, we measured it at 660. So all we did was, we know from there is 385. We worked out that when we got our, um, our rough guesstimate at, at the rise, the total rise, we said we're gonna divide it by four and try that. And it gave me a, a dead on 165, which is ace. Cause you've gotta be below this 180, which I am. So it's perfect. Well, that's a bit of an example for you. 11.55 go, no problem. If you'd got 7.46, I'll give you an example now to make it easier. That's your total rise. That's mine, this is an example. So you go, okay, how many rises are we gonna have? If I'd have guessed at four again, I'd have ended up with 186.5 millimeters high, each one of these. And as we know, I've gotta be below 180. So four's no good, you discount that. So then I divided that again by five and got 149.2, which we know is good. So that's good now. So all you do then is 149.2. Now you can't, you don't really want to be doing 149.2, cutting these, do you really? Remember this is decking steps. Just round that up to 150. So what I'll do now is, then we've done that. Well, I'll flip this over. What I've done, I know a lot of people use SketchUp now, but this is a rod, a bit of plasterboard. This is to scale. This is exactly how my steps are going to sit. So we've just looked at the measurements now. I know that from my back of my riser, so imagine that is my, my uh, decking now. Imagine that's my decking. This is my decking, that, deck board that's going to come over there and give me my nose in. And of course, as I've already said, I'm going to put a riser on there of a decking board. So that's pretty much exactly how it sit like that. And we'll just put um, we'll just put a structure in here to hold all these steps. Structure of this, because as I've already said, you can't do traditional threads and risers on a, on a stringer. You can't, because it won't work. So set these out again, all to scale. Overhand risers, this is all set out now. So this distance from there, so there is 11.55 and we know from there, that distance, which is top of your deck, existing deck, to the dirt is 6.60. So I've set all these out, as you do. So I'm just gonna put it on here for you again now. So we know from there, get my camera right, trying to look at my camera and pencil at the same time. So from there to there is 1.65 which gives you the total then of 660, as I've just said, from your decking to your grass. So, because you've got, this is where your timber's gonna be, in essence, this is where your timber is, look, in here and in here. You need to sort of forget about it. It is difficult, I know. You need to forget about your treads, forget about your risers, and form your structure to put add all these onto. So, taking your 165, this is my dirt, there. This is my dirt. Now you need a 165 rise, so you need to, this is your first rise, remember. From there, up to the the top of your first board is gotta be 165, so you're minus off the thickness of your board. So this is why I said you need to know what you're putting on your treads first. This is 25 mil. 25 mil. From there to there, I need to make sure that I've got 165. So this first rise on your steps or whatever you're gonna to do to structure them in, like I've just said, it's gotta be 140 mil. Now, this is the difference. That deck board's not there and that deck board's not there. We know, let me go to this one. 165 from there, top of deck board, to top of deck board, there's gotta be 165. So then, if you remove that deck board, remove that deck board, then the measurement 165 then becomes the height of your riser. 165 there, because obviously eliminated that, eliminated that. But if you've noticed, this has got to be 140, not 165. And the reason for that is you haven't got another deck board there, have you, if you think about it. 
that's your start. So your first riser has always got to be the thickness of your tread smaller than all of these. Because that's 140, if you did that 165, when you put your deck board on, that would then become 190, wouldn't it? If you think about it, which is 165 plus your 25 mil. That are one knock, and that would be too big, wouldn't it? So that's where you're going to knock it off because you haven't got. If you put a deck board there and you measure up 165, that then brings you to there, doesn't it? I can't even understand that. Just remember, your first rise always got to be the thickness of your tread smaller than all of these ones. This could be a full flight of stairs, 12, 12 rises. Just remember that. Well, that's sort of explained it a little bit. I'll probably just confuse people now and people probably just switched off about two minutes ago, but uh, I've tried my best. So all I'm going to do now is we're going to go on to actual structuring of the stairs now. Um, because I've said we've got to make frame, we're going to make independent frames here, almost like little tiny deckings on top of each other to make our treads now so we can get this full width. So uh, please stay tuned and uh, we'll have a look at that now. What Mick started to do there is, is cut the set his saw to the depth of a of a 6x2 that we're going to use, which is about 44 mil, could be 47 mil. So I don't know, we have to guess really <laughs> at this point. Depends how wet it is. So we're going to cut a notch out of them, like the same as we did with these. You didn't really see it in the last episode how it was done, but uh, we'll try and show you in this one if we can. So we're going to cut a notch out and then fix that then onto the face of the post like that so it's all flush just gives it some more structure rather than on just fixings so we'll do that now we need to set our first row of posts in which is our total go which is from here to the face of the first riser which is 11.55 if you remember back from earlier so because we're still waiting for our 6p2 and stuff to turn up from uh, from Paul Abbey Direct We've used a bit of 4 we've got on site now to try and get all these in line. So we've cut our, um, our notches in our timber and fixed, that's where, ultimately, where the 6 pit will sit now in that hole. 6 pit will sit in there, right up to the top of that. But like I just said, because we haven't got it, we're gonna use some 4 b 2 We're gonna uh, get some concrete post mix now and we're gonna set this, make sure this is all right, in the right place, lift it up, because ultimately we need to measure from here to the top of that, which is where the top of our first tread will be, uh, first riser will be. Now, you remember it's 660 from our rod that we did, but because I'm not measuring to the dirt now, I'm measuring to the top of that one, it's um, it's only 495, because that's top of this riser, not to the ground. Ground is 660, minus the 165, 495, because I want to get this height. I'll show you why we do it this way in a minute, but it's ultimately because we want to put this in as a separate entity, put some more posts there to then carry the rest of it. Because this is so low, we can't get this structure back to the bottom of that post because the ground sort of runs up like that. Ideally, if this ground was flat, we'd have that post would have been ideal for us to run structure from this straight back into there and carry our first, our first decking, if you like, to build all the steps up, but we can't do that. Hence doing it this way. It'll come more clear if you keep watching, I promise you. It'll come more clear. So we'll come with that now, put our concrete in and set these in. Right now, we've got our first riser set out in posts, in concrete, all the way down. That's all good to go now. Cut that corner post like we did these ones. And that'll take it, that's only a 4 by 2 depth there though. And then what's happening now is, we cut in a set of posts again. That'll stand up, I'm trying to show you, like that. And that distance from there, where my foot is, to the face of this, I'll put like that down. So imagine that's standing up right now. From there to there will be my 385 mil, which I know is my tread depth. So that's what we're going to do now. We'll run that all the way through. 6 by 2 that into there. 
get it set at our 140 from uh sorry 165 sorry remember this is 140 see you're confusing myself now this first one's 140 as i've already said this is 165 high we'll set this one now off the top of here bolted into the posts and then that six by two will then carry four by twos all the way back into these posts here at the back and the other deck will sit on top of that So, we're in the sunshine this morning, finishing the structure of these steps, put the 4x2 in for the, uh, that's now platform one, or step one, and as you can see we've structured it off the, you can cut me four and over, the uh, yeah. structured this step off these posts, now as I showed you yesterday, I hope you can now really understand what I'm doing, because as I said it's difficult to, to, to explain really, that we're having to make three separate decks almost to carry the structure, so that'll all get um, joist hung now or little jiffy hang now, the minis, because that deck now will take the weight of the another one of these. I'm going to make one of these up now as a ladder frame, same as that, same width, 385 mil tread, and it'll sit on top of that one, fix into that 9 by 2 and then we'll put little cripple legs down then on top of these, hence nailing and jiffy hanging. Day's finally arrived. Matt's here. Put some pink on the ceiling. Turn on, Matt. So I'll let him crack on with that and we'll uh, we'll see what we've we got on after. So there we are, S structure to the steps is done. So as I said, three separate platforms and that one has been structured off that one. I've just put some um, cripple legs in there now on every um, piece of timber below and fixed it with some exterior hex head coach screws. So that's got that, every single one. There's no way that's going anywhere. It's been fixed directly into the 9 by 2 at the back as well. And then we've even put some extra legs in down as well to the timbers below that are resting on a timber at the back to make sure that's all uh, structurally sound so that now is set for three boards wide so as i've explained to you i hope it makes a little bit more sense now because i probably didn't explain myself very well there'll be a decking board goes on there which i can actually show you there we think we think at this moment in time it's going to be this so we've got this one this deck board is on the for the riser and that's for the tread so that will be there like that three boards wide so what we'll have then is we'll have that go on there like that so we're gonna have to trim a little bit off that well actually i could do that to be honest i could do that set that to the height like that and move that forward a bit of a gap there at the back like that nice little gap and then that'll be three boards wide and so on and so on so yeah look something like that with a 21 overhang that's what it'll look like quite uh, quite tidy all the way up put the extra timbers in the uh in the ramp now jesus 
yeah, when they're having the mini delivered to go up this ramp, you get a car up that now. As I said, I made a bit of a mistake and didn't need to phone centres. So consequently, we've had to put one in between the ones that we did. And now we've got that much timber in there now, we could stick something structural on it. Unbelievable. We could tile that and felty and put a dormer on it, huh? The R and L I <laughs> could be the other one for them. <laughs> R and L I even, should I say? Just pronunciation. So yeah, so Matt's in there. He's uh, covered the ceiling and two of the walls in, in pink. So it looks beautiful. Look at that. How good does that look now? How did that habitat cover me? Did it cover it all right or yeah, no? Yeah. No difference. No difference to normal plasterboard. Just holding off a little bit because of this. Yeah. We were just, we were concerned because we never used this before, what it was going to be like to plaster it. Now it's designed by budget rock, so it's designed to be plastered, but with it being so hard, we're just unsure. But there we go, we've had it from the uh, the person that would know, hasn't noticed the difference, so there we go then. That's for everyone to know. But that looks superb now. Stepped in for the glory shot as Matt and that's what he's done. Yeah. Stepped in for the glory shot. I see your reflection in it from here. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Is that, does that mean not to take paint properly if it's too polished? So what uh, Ad's been doing? Ad's just been on. The, he's been down the back. He's finished some of the uh, the corners been waiting for. So he's put the black corner on there now, and the white corner on the back. That's all done. Hello. 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 So he's just putting these um, these face vents in now. So as you can see, that is what's going to run all of our venting from. That's going to be in every single one, all the way along. Sure that could be there as well. You can feel it, the draft yeah. coming through, can you? Yeah. So I'll go around the front a minute and show you the face event. I have already showed you the face event, but it's not very uh, obvious because it's, uh, it's it sits quite nice up the fascia. So that's where the um, where they're going to sit, all across there. Um, we put them sort of behind the gutter to try and get to the 50 mil void, but we've already talked about it. If if at any point we feel that it's not adequate enough which we know it's going to be because we there's a void behind that there. So there's a complete sort of four inch wall width of void before the insulation. So there's a whole pocket of air that can accumulate there and then transfer it to the soft to the front or travel to the front, should I say? Show them so. the one. Huh? Show them the one. Put one out. Yeah, that's, uh, so all he's going to do, he's just got his hole saw, marking them all out. And again, we've got to go tight to the top because you've got to have your 50 mil void, remember, above your insulation, below your, your timber floor deck. So here we go. Simple hole saw, 72 mil. 72, yeah. 72, yeah. There we go, because if you use jumbo board, it is quite, uh, it's thick stuff. quite solid, yeah. Well, 16 mil, isn't it, Adam? 16 mil? Yeah. So I don't know if you can, uh, if I stop this and put the flash on, hang on. Yeah. Okay, so the flash is on there, so we're hoping if Ad can. I was hoping to try and show you the, the, the air gap if we can. There we can. can see it. And if we can see it, can There we go. Yeah, there's the void above there. there you can is. see a void above there. There's insulation and a void below the deck. So so what I'll do now is if I'll go and show you the um the front. There we go. And I can show you this uh this yeah, face event. You can feel the air in it, can yeah. you? So that every single it's gonna be every six hundred in effect, so we're more than happy with that. So, as I've already said now, because we have we didn't want to do that on the front, we didn't want to get any black soft face events on the front, it looked terrible. So if you were, uh, I pointed this out when I come the other day after being away on the Friday, that there is a face event and all that does, it sits on top of your fascia, which is exactly what we've done. And that's the continuous airflow then, there's a gap all the way behind that. None of this is insulated, none of this box is external, so there's a complete air void there as well. And if you remember, you can't see it now because it's up there, there was a 50 mil gap. What we did was we got a, a laugh first and tapped it all down to make sure it was all seating right. Um, and we got a, a really good void. We could see all the way through. Before we put these board, we could look all the way through to the soffit and face at the back, or the, sorry, the face at the back. So yeah, that's what we're doing there for our airflow. Got to make sure you air, let's stop your airflow. Or maintain your airflow, sorry, just to stop it sweating. So there we go. We think, like I say, we think we've got the uh, the decking choice now, so we're hoping to that very, very soon. We have got a date for the doors and windows to be fitted, which is the 21st of March. So yeah, once the doors are in, we'll put that board on there, finish that board, and then put the vertical ones in, which will slot behind there. Because if you remember the video, we set a spacer, that'll slot behind there. 
like that. That's a bit too, that's uh, 25 mil, so that won't go behind there. But uh, 18 mil, that's what that's for. And then we'll finish the reveals off then as well and put all the corners on, because we're going to put see the corners on here to cover this, cover all this edge up. Oh, quite nice. So there we go then. That's, uh, that's the day's work today, pretty much. I hope you're liking our videos. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button. Hit that, pardon me, I, I, I burped then, I do apologise. Hit that like button, get the notification bell. I'm ready for the next episode. See you soon. Doesn't that look lovely?